Today, we will read Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse 56. Oh, oh Sumuki, fair faced girl. Wow. When will I, like a vine of devotion, on the strength of great arising fortune, wow. obtain the remnants of food that you spat out along with your gargling water and the water that has washed your lotus-like feet. With love, I shall enjoy it in so many ways, along with your other loving friends. Oh, Sumuki, fair-faced girl, when will I, like a wine of devotion, on the strength of great arising fortune, obtain the remnants of food that you spat out along with your gargling water and the water that has washed your lotus-like feet. With love, I shall enjoy it in so many ways along with your other loving friends. Notes. Shri Tulasi has massaged Swamini's lotus feet, and Shri Rupa has massaged her hands. Yes. Swamini lies to sleep on a wonderful bed. When this delicious vision vanishes, Sri Raghunatha weeps and laments, revealing his Heartage to Swamina. Again, revelation comes to him. He need not endeavor for such visions. Yeah. Yeah. In hearts that are these visions appear spontaneously. In the hearts that are purified by devotion, these visions appear spontaneously. The Lila is a doer, not the Smaranakari, the devotee who practices Smaranakari. The Lila is a doer not the Smaranakari, devotee who practices Smarana. 
this free flow of lilas cannot take place in a mind that is possessed by material monks. The modes of darkness, tamogun, and passion, rajogun, and even of goodness, sattva, will not allow smarana to take a place, but, but, but the devotion will gradually carry the devotee's heart and mind beyond this physical quality. Take this one. Here you go. Yeah. I'll be on. Wow. And now it's not what I'm here. Yeah. This free flow of lilas. No, read again. From the beginning. The modes of darkness and passion and even that of goodness will not allow smarana to take a place, but devotion will gradually carry the devotee's heart and mind beyond this physical quality. My friend, I don't understand. So we can hear, we can see, actually, how Raghunathas pure heart attracts Lilas to appear in the form of visions to him. His heart is pure and it means that there is no any whiff of gunas are present in his heart. Because of that, he can feel Love in separation from her, from his swamini, from her swamini. And according to the free will of Lila, Lila appears. And Baba is saying here, Lila is a doer. Lila appears. We cannot force Swamini or any Lila to appear. And Baba is continuing. Why not appearing? Why not? Because the mind is absorbed in Tamagun, Rajagun, even Sattva Guna, and this means bodily consciousness life. If this bodily consciousness of life is so strong, so deep, then it is not possible to relish the taste of Lila. Oh no, Peter. You also back right. It is not possible to relish the name form transcendental qualities. Nothing what is transcendental is not possible to relish in that state of consciousness. Uh -huh. 
Can I ask something here, Guru? Yeah. Does it mean when we are in the gunas, we meditate on the lila? If one is out of the fullness, then the lila appears. That's what it says. Out of guna, that is Panjapurta, fifth of us. We have to always very loving. Prem Purta means out of guna. Is a preparation. That Prem Purta is is a preparation that I am in soul council out of gunas. Then we should the sattva. The fifth effort and sixth effort is a we should the sattva. That is pure spiritual goodness. That is our constitutional position. Sarup, by the death and mercy of our spiritual mind. We do not practice this, how we will be in our sky now. Fix nature, I have to fix my nature, who I am and what I want to see, right? Right. And that way purify our hearts and the leaders can be seen. Yeah. Yeah. It is said the modes will not allow smarana to take a place. The block. Yeah. But devotion yeah. will gradually carry devotees heart and mind. Yeah. Gradually carry devotees heart and mind. Heart. Beyond this physical bodies. Wow. It will come in Chittavirti. And Chittavirti is present to the mind. Circle will be heart and mind. Prabhupada say in Bhagavad Gita. 12 chapter 13 verse. It should be with the, your intelligence, means uh, your heart and mind has to be in harmony. In one tune. In one tune. Yes. That is the word. Heart and mind. You think with the heart and you feel with the mind. No, mind has to be. Give the feeling to the heart has to give feeling to the mind. Heart has to give feeling. That is, we should do something. Mind is start working first, ego will come mm. and we come to body return. So he said, so sometimes somebody say, I'm talking, my mind is telling, no, no, no. <laughs> my heart is telling to me this. Brother, in this context, uh, I was reading yesterday. Some movies, right? Yes, 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 100%. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Gurude was just mentioning about not our mind is telling, our heart is telling, right? And in Radha Rasa Sudhanidi, there is a verse which I just stumbled upon yesterday, where it says that for many, the heart is the mind. It means we say heart, but actually it's our mind. But for some, the mind is the forest of Vrindavan. And then I I got really stunned. What does it mean that for many the heart is the mind, but for some the mind is the forest? Means Gurudev that our mind always has to be in the forest of Vrindavan. Yeah. Then we can really speak from the heart if our mind is always there. 
And of course, this is beautiful meditation. And it goes further, it says that then the mind and the forest of Vrindavan become one. It means good if the mind cannot go out anymore. So how to live in the forest guru? Okay, it's awesome. No, no, it's there. Is there? You with the phone. Open my phone. Yes, 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 sorry. You I will just that. that. I will just that. If you keep phone, anyone has to be that. I want to see face. Face to face, you know. Right? Understanding? Clear or not? Mind has to go in forest. Too much. What is what you will think? See too many things to think. <laughs> Only the forest of Raj, not yeah. any forest. <laughs> I feel that we live in Karuna forest. That, that is important. You are right. I agree with you. Who is that? Lama Galatika. Lama Galatika. Right, Lama Galatika? You are telling him. Explain. Explain. He's a beautiful thing to Explain. 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 <laughs> Dear Guru, there, we, when we listen this beautiful Zoom connection with you and dear devotees, we all will feel some connection with Radharani and we flow in this beautiful Karuna forest. These books, Prabodhananda Sarasvati and Rupa Goswami are so deep. This is so deep forest and we flow in this flow. Thank you, Guru, there. Thank you. So much. I'm proud of all of you. They're coming soon. They are coming soon. You are not bringing my old friend. Dhiran uh, is my very old friend. I want to see him. When I was first time in grass, he is so loving to me. Yeah. He is very caring to me. Yeah. Yeah. Devotion liberates the soul from the knot of a hunker, wow, false ego, and feels, feels it with identification. I am God's servant. Wow. Again, again, how it will happen to me? To read again. The modes will not allow smarana to take a place but devotion will gradually carry devotees heart and mind beyond these physical qualities <laughs> devotion liberates the soul from the knot of ahankara false ego understand Understand? No, Doing devotional service yeah. to Guru, to Radhamohan, will deliver us from our false ego. Doing bhajan, doing service, wow. helping, cleaning, cooking, caring. Between us, there's no service. Yeah. 
And when I feel Gurudev tired, pressed, never tired, he never frustrated. Tired. Never, you cannot say to him. I feel for myself, not for him, Gurudev. <laughs> <laughs> that is under completely under the bonus. Yes. I don't like, I don't want to be pressed. Yeah. Take it easy. Some gunas are troubling. Yes. <laughs> like yesterday, I become tired. My gunas are more powerful yesterday. So I cannot physically to capable to sit up to 11. I fail in 10, 30 or 10. So, this is the Guna's way. Oh. Still one hour later than me. Yeah. <laughs> My Guna's took me much earlier. This is the point. <coughs> we so, have to see ourselves. This is the thermometer. We have to use views of myself. Our uh, external behavior sees others, but we have to watch ourselves. Right? Dev, Dev Pran. Yeah. Yes, go to there, right. <laughs> yes. In Shrimad Bhagavatam. Yeah. Four. The three. Yeah. Shrimad Bhagavatam 4, 29, it said, huh? simply by being devoted to the lotus feet of the Lord, the saints are liberated from the bondage of fruitive reactions. Wow. Only one time you take the lotus feet of some, you are free. So easy way. But from heart, Yes. Not from my my, <laughs> mm. my friend is telling my mind is something come to share. I shocked up my God. Still mind is existing here. <laughs> Simply by being devoted. To the lotus feet of the Lord, the saints are liberated from the bondage of fruitive reactions. Unlike, unlike the empty headed practitioners of jnana and yoga that artificially try to control their senses. <laughs> and they cannot. Impossible. 
to control your senses, your face, your life, that he will control. And when he will be old, more senses will say, and you have to run for that. And they control you. They control you because you're weak. Therefore, worship Vasudeva. <clears throat> who is very kind to the surrendered souls, the hearts and minds of devotees are stolen by the sweetness of devotional life. It cannot be forgotten, forgotten, sorry, it cannot be forgotten anymore. Even they, he would try it. It cannot be forgotten even if I put all my endeavor to forget. Because it makes so deep samskara, this devotion. Like you said yesterday, Guru, there is this amazing word which no one of us can pronounce. Gara. 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 <laughs> samskara. Like what you say about Vasudeva? Therefore, worship Vasudeva who is very kind to surrendered souls. Why he write was of my mind. Buddha, if this is a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam, he's just yeah. quoting Bhagavatam. Yeah, Sunidhi. Bring Sunidhi out. She brings us back. Anyone who talks about, we will take it out. She brings us back. Well, come, bring out. Who will be interested to share something, I will bring it in every, everyone. Yeah. 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 The hearts and minds of devotees are stolen by the sweetness of devotional life. It cannot be forgotten anymore, even if they try to do it. Anyone who has experienced this will understand it. Maya makes the mind very coarse, very rough. But when the mind remains at the lotus feet of the Lord, <laughs> We can understand how pure, tender, and innocent the mind actually is. That is, Kaliya is dancing on the head. Kaliya head dancing Krishna. Krishna is dancing on the Kaliya head. False ego. Kaliya is our false ego. He's a poisonous. Mm -hmm. So, Krishna, when he start dancing to the Kaliya Naga, then his poison is better. The false ego, when he, he is on our head, then poison nuts throw from the mouth. <coughs> the poison is our poison. When I think that I'm a sure, 
is a quality. And Maya is very rough. Uh -huh. Maya makes the mind very rough. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. Hard, gross. We see the world, yes, no, hot, cold, yeah. doubtful, always judging. And then meditation, we find the innocent, we find the... But when the mind remains at the lotus feet of the Lord, ah, we can understand how pure, tender, and innocent the mind actually is. Wow. Then is Chittavrit. Then it becomes Chittavrit. Wow. In Bhagavatam 2 8 5 is said the purified soul never leaves the lotus feet of Krishna. These are the Siddhanta of Bhagavatam. These are the principles. If you see on the mind, art, <coughs> meditation is the subject. Externally, nothing inside. Mm. Right? We always watch outside. <laughs> Inside never do a thing. Unfortunately, a person like me is exactly in opposite position. Yeah. Yeah. Baba is telling. <coughs> we are opposite to it. This is the always careful that person like me is an opposite. We cannot do doing this. We have to do it. <laughs> Although I want to forget about material life, I cannot forget it. Wow. Yeah. This is unfortunate position of mind. Ananda Bhavaji is writing. This I want to forget my serious life. I cannot forget. This is humbleness. And this is our situation. And that to practice. Huh? Devotional love alone can purify the heart. That, that example is Paramahansa, my Paramahansa, Yasudananda. He went to one shop, he started crying then. Because he, he can feel other pain. He is like this. I know him very close. So I say him Paramahansa. He is a property of Italy, I say you. He is a wealth of it in Germany. Devotional love alone 
and purify the heart. How tender is the heart of someone who practices Manjari Bhav. By luck, he got the Manjari Bhav of Mautunai. On the strength of great arising fortune. <laughs> His problem is gone then. It can start happening. <laughs> What we can do it, it happens. But it's tender, it's fragile, it's tender because it feels perfectly the feelings of so many of the other. The Mandri heart is perfectly compassionate, and so it's exposed and endangered. How tender is the heart of someone who practices Manjari Bhav? How honey sweet are their hearts? Honey sweet, always devotion. And Radharani cares so much that he no need to do everything is happening. For example, on 10th March, you can see by your eyes what is happening that day. Shilanarottama Das Thakur has sung. Fix your mind completely on the service of the lotus feet of Radha and Mohan. Constantly hear of their attributes from the mouths of devotees and you will reach the pinnacle of bliss. Again, fix your mind completely on the service of the lotus feet of Radha and Mo. Constantly hear of their attributes from the mouths of devotees, and you will reach the pinnacle of bliss, Parama Ananda. I was, I always thought, Guru Dev, that the mind has to be sharp and clever, but here it's saying the mind has to be soft and innocent. How can the mind become soft and innocent? To be receptive to the needs of Radharani, the mind has to be infinitely exposed, open, soft, and what did you say? Tender, tender, innocent. innocent. My idea is that only by meditation this influence happens. Only by devotion, only by doing three things for him it becomes soft <laughs> and innocent. And all our hardness. Little ego covering, all it starts automatically 
when we are in devotional practice, it's all clean up. <laughs> it melts automatically. One point is if the mind is fixed, it flow. Waves from her, it clean automatically. Nothing to do. Our mind has to be one pointed. What I do is in service. That moment, I know, see, that new man who don't know about anything about our Indian philosophy, culture, about Radha Mohan, he come for one hour, half an hour, and he's come to talk with him. He give only three chairs to talk with him, <laughs> and he never talk with him. He's talking to other persons, and he, he, he is very worried what happened, one hour not. He wants to stay up to evening. So and he, he is moving every place, not sitting with him. I surprised. <laughs> you <We> were shocked. <coughs> Who is taking care? To answer change his heart. So you walk, through one through one through. moment. <laughs> what happened? He wants to go because he has a meeting. Wife says she don't want to go now. She wants to be there. Say right what is what happened. He want to go. Huh? Kripa happened. Mercy happened. Mercy was flowing. You see that? Eight o'clock. He was still there. From Radharani through you through all the devotees. That is the flow. Radharani do like this is the flow. My God. It's completely charmed. <laughs> right. And a going time we come to him, he said, You don't mind, I will come again and again. I see yes, you. This is your home. You become a devotee. <laughs> He was surrounded by a hundred mandaris. <laughs> he was surrounded by a hundred mandaris. What could he do? I could have, all these years, you're always engaging everyone in seva. And I remember the first seva you gave me was your, you had visiting cards with your name and Mungir Mandir, Adam one, and you, the, you had changed your phone number and you asked me to take this stack of visiting cards and write a new number. <laughs> Externally, a very small seva, but internally it changed so much. So I feel the moment we get service from Guru Dev, it doesn't matter high, low, small, big, <coughs> the beginning of the flow. It's the moment when we can enter with Guru Kripa, the flow. So I feel we are very fortunate that our Guru Dev always engages us in, in Seva. Yeah. And the 10th of March was a beautiful experience to see this flow of Seva and devotion in everyone. How how it also can change somebody's heart who has never been here, who doesn't know anything, and that person only wants to stay here. Then so, very very we're very fortunate mm -hmm. we can receive that devotion in our lives. It changes everything. This was really mercy hmm. through the devotion. And all ego and all is finished. <laughs> Flooded. <coughs> Flooded. Why to work for that? Why to work for that? One pointedness and devotion. <coughs> Change everything. Mm. 
So it's our nature to serve. Yeah. You see the example of Balram? Are there sometimes I see I have to learn from devotion from Balram? He's so devoted. You talk one thing and he talk finish before he starts going. Where he go? He want to relax and he can give 10 minutes time that he is free. He has to complete some seva. Mm -hmm. So he running back for that. So shower prayer and rasa lila. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have no time to waste. <laughs> Right. Only to see them, Vila. And I was smiling with this gentle smile. Mm -hmm. Yes, my love. It's all work in Vajan. I have so much respect for it. This is devotion. It is all work in bhajan and devotion. Why we fear from working? If we become like Balra, best, best way to devote working time also. And Shama is following Balram and he's changing his life. <laughs> see that this Shama, you see Italian Shama. He want to please Balram Baba. He can do anything what Balram Baba will say. Shama. And his life is changing. Gurudev, I asked Jayananda Maharaj one question. How, how you learned this beautiful Japanese devotees, how told them to behave in such a nice way. And he answered me, I didn't do so much, but they learned from each other. Hmm. Wow. So. wow. And it's really, we can see it. Well, from Japanese devotees. <laughs> I want to add something here, Guru. They, they watch others, yes. how they are doing, and they start doing it. I we, it. we watch and we don't do yes. I watch others, but I will not do yeah. They do immediately. Immediately, I see they learn. They take the camera picture. <laughs> And they record. Recording. Mm -hmm. And they learn that. And they start doing. And they yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> There's so much that they have to when I go catch it, do it. Devotion is there. <laughs> this is devotion. <laughs> I only I only watch, I will not do. <laughs> But they are really, I've seen them now yes. since the years they're coming. They will see how others are doing seva and they will also immediately, immediately follow them. And one thing more, they come at 12 night, <coughs> four is a mangala arti, they all you will see them. Normally, one day you need to have <laughs> And Jananda Maharaj Gurudev adds one more thing. This is the difference between Asian mentality and European <laughs> Western mentality. We are 
very much on false egos. And all these beautiful devotees, they have natural behavior to be humble, to serve the others, respect, respect others, to be very watchful, mild, sensitive, innocent, soft. Innocent, soft. <laughs> Everything. We have examples here. Only thing is that they are monk. <laughs> when I go, I eat monks. <laughs> they are monk. <laughs> I don't know what's <laughs> right. <laughs> but you you found out the way. <laughs> Only I said the one point. You turned the key. It marks how to find couple for them. <laughs> Living feelings. Yeah. They want. <laughs> they are dual. <coughs> but they are changing. They are changing. And they are changing us. Yes. yes. This is the beauty. I feel mm -hmm. that the Sangha of Japan devotees are changing us also. Wow. For me, Gurudev is, is already a success that I can see it. Yeah. Practically. Practically. It's success for my ego. There's hope. There. Yes. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Against hope, sometimes. <laughs> but this is true. <laughs> Naruto Madas Thakur is continuing. My eyes want to see the golden form of Rai. Wow. What is Rai? Radhika, who is a small, lovely, but in, uh, I think that you explained. It's like a small seed. And master I, seed. Master seed, oh, yeah. yes. Right. His right. Name, right. And so strong in this small master seed. Without master, you cannot cook. Without oil, there's no cooking. <laughs> Not many artificial oil are there. But without oil, there is no food. <laughs> you get my eyes want and are crying out of this desire. Krishna's very enchanting body shines in the world like a dripping rain cloud. Krishna's... No, no, no. Ah, my eyes want to see the golden form of Raya. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I want to see golden form of Raya. <laughs> And they are crying out of this desire. There's only one point has to be fixed. Then second. Krishna's very chanting body shines in the world like a dripping rain cloud. Then, Rain cloud is a must. That is merciful water can come read full line. You miss one, two page line. Yes, read. My eyes want to more. See. more. There is something. okay. Fix your mind ah. completely on the service of the lotus feet of Radha 
Yeah. Constantly hear of their attributes from the mouths of devotees. Not really. From the mouth of Jews, mm -hmm. this is two things. Mm -hmm. One day, Akhanda and Sarasati shop on this one. What is the difference between reading and listening mouth of Jews? <laughs> Out of the <laughs> But shortly I say you. One hour he talks about that. Shortly say, when you read, you cut also. This is not right. This is right. You read by see one uh, to understand. Sometimes you not understand. Just you read. <laughs> <laughs> you talk from the heart. But the other who read already and he will explain his life, then he will give the team So listening is more important reading. What he will not kind of him, but it will come by listening. <laughs> 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 yeah, I <laughs> and then you will reach the pinnacle of place. <laughs> what is that is right. <laughs> this is pinnacle of place. <laughs> that is the pinnacle of place. It's not coming. Rise not coming. The goal. Then you know reach the alternative book. So much having that that goal and alternative book. Huh? Right? Pinnacle. Go on. <clears throat> then my eyes want to see the golden form of Rai. Then I want to see that. And crying out of this desire. Without crying for this. One point in that will make you to cry. Deep pointedness and love makes make you to cry. You see the Surana. The shop shop is start crying. <laughs> Again, he will cry. <laughs> yeah, that is right. Make you to cry. <laughs> you cannot stop yourself when love will melt your heart. Right? For the one. <laughs> Krishna's very enchanting body shines in the world like a dripping rain cloud. What is the rain cloud? Parkia bow, it is all our parkia. It's not that you are not to go in, that meaning will come out. It's a frame bhakti chandrika, radha sudhaniti, and vilapu sumajali. All is in Anandas Babaji, who deeply parkia bow. The verses from Kandavan. <laughs> the 
do it written, but right. I think yes. Mm -hmm. Now it continues. All around, the Tsakis are dressing their, sorry, all around, the Sakis are dressed, desiring their service. What is that dress? Desiring. I made mistake with it. Uh -huh. I made mistake. Wow. All around, the Sakis are desiring their service. Ah, Sakis are desiring. Yes. Yeah. And when they get that service, uh -huh. They are most blissful. Yeah. Narottama says, My mind and Bangla, my Bangla. A mana tanu mora, a rase sada bora, Narottama sadai vihare. Wow. My mind and my body are always absorbed in this rasa. My mind and my body. Wow. Are always absorbed in this rasa. When you fall in an ocean of nectar, you become immortal and nectarian. Wow. <coughs> By the special mercy of Sriman Mahaprabhu, Shilaraguna thus similarly has become filled with prema by falling in the ocean of service wow. to Sri Radhika, who is sacred love personified. Again, yes. Why we follow Frank Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Honestly, we are not following. If this practice is not going, understand? Only telling I am a Gaudiya Vaishnava, no reason. This nature has to come. Come, read. When you fall in an ocean of nectar, you become immortal and nectarian. Yes. Immortal. Because you went to the ocean of nectar, after that you are mortal. You have become immortal. By touch, by taking a bath in that ocean. Means body will, you can leave the body, but you are Amar, you have nobody will forget you. Nobody. You are living without you. Yeah. Nectar of the ocean where nobody dies. Always he lives divine. He enters divine God. Yeah. If we're all standing on the side of the water. Yeah. Putting the little toe in to see how it is instead of jumping. jumping. <coughs> By the special mercy of Sriman Mahaprabhu. Srila <laughs> Raghunath does similarly has become filled with prema by falling 
in the ocean of service, Shri Radhika, who is the sacred love personified. He is fully absorbed in his identification as Radha's maid servant. A vision comes to him. Now he's starting. Swamini is sleeping. Now the Kinkaris take their meal of remnants left by Swamini before she went to sleep. How fortunate they are. They can eat her leftover food and better leaves. Drink the water with which she has flushed her mouth and the water which they have washed her lotus feet. This fortune is even far away from the succulents. Yeah. They can eat her leftover food and better leaves. Drink the water which she has flushed her mouth wow. and the water which they have washed her lotus feet. Wow. This fortune is even far away from the Sakis. While Swamini was eating, she spat some food out on a plate as if she didn't like the taste of it. She knows the desire on her maid servant's mind. So, in this way, she grants them opportunities to enjoy her leftover food. How strong is her feeling of minus for her maid servant? How tasty the food has become after having been in her mouth. The maid servants know this, and that's why Tulasi calls her Sumuki, fair-faced girl here in the woods. Wow. It is as if love has met in one place, has taken the form of a king curry. Wow. And is eating a share of this wonderful nectar. Okay. Again, again. It is as if love has met in one place, then it has taken a form of a kinkari and is eating a share of this wonderful nectar. Thank you.
Radhika Slav. is completely taking the form in kinkari rupa in the form of kinkaris so the kinkaris are embodiments of radhika's love experiencing it experiencing it through to they feel kinkari feels everything what radhika has deep in her heart and she is a younger maid servant like a bud which has inside everything what is a present in the flower this is one Second, please. Mahaprabhu is relishing this. It is as if love has met in one place. It is as if love has met in one place. Yeah. Has taken form of a kinkari. <laughs> wow, you <That's> open. <laughs> so love is Chaitanya. Chaitanya love. Yeah, very much. So hard. And is eating. Love is eating a share of this wonderful nectar. One more meaning in this. Just <laughs> this love of Radhika is only Krishna. And he said, I am student of you. You are my object, I am your subject. And Krishna is doing this. This is love. Love is there. Read again. Yes, Guru. It is as if love has met in one place. It is said, Prema makes Krishna to dance, makes devotee, makes Kinkari to dance, and they are dancing. Herself is dancing, and they are dancing in one place. Wow. It is as if love has met in one place and then has taken form of kinkari. Form of kinkari. <laughs> to, to meet, to feel that love. And it is eating, yeah. relishing. A share of this remnants of this wonderful nectar. Wow. Yeah. 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 Mahamantra is also first is Radha meeting with Krishna. Krishna is meeting. They are so embracing each other, they become Goran. Raman, they are in Raman. They are called who is chanting the mantra. We will dance all things to The meeting. Yeah. But why uh, Radha Krishna, when they are in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they are one? In that moment, they feel separation. Yeah. 
Definitely. Because they're so close together, like never, so all the time, one, and they feel separation. They only, okay, not separated, you see, Radhika, come here, Radhika is sitting on the lap of Krishna, and this Krishna, in the lap of Krishna is Radha, but she dies. Both as a tear. See, check this picture. Why they have tears? They no see the face, so the pressure. Although they are sitting together, this is very strata. 